Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's open studio lesson, we're talking about fruit still life paintings. So you might be wondering, why would we worry about still life when we're talking about portraiture work? The reality is, you as a portrait painter or a portrait artist need to not only represent what the person looks like, you have to give the viewer some idea of their character or their personality or their essence. And so sometimes a still life is exactly what you need to do. Fruit still life happens to be one of my favorite things to paint. So we're gonna get the paints out and get started. Fruits and vegetables have been appearing in art pretty much since art began. Fruit as an object in art can simply be decorative or it can represent a message. This is Harry Bird Flood Sr. with apples in the background. He was a newspaper publisher and a politician. Bird's family owned and operated a large successful apple farm. So with that inspiration, let's learn how to draw an apple. The supplies you'll need for today's lesson will be some white sturdy paper, pencils, eraser, watercolor paints, or watercolor pencils if you have them. Apples, when they're simplified, are really just circles, but they do tend to have some straighter edges. So go ahead and start with a circle, but then locate the sides, top, and bottom with those straighter edges. On the top of the apple, draw a circle. This is the top of the apple where it dips in and where the stem comes out. Now before we add color, we need to find the light source in your painting. So look for the light source to come from the top corner. Then you'll add a thin layer of red paint over the whole apple before you start adding shadows. I like to work dark to light when I work in watercolors, so I'll add this darker value on the back side of the apple, the side away from the light. Now when you add shadows, if we're working in red, we'll need to use the other side of the color wheel for your shadow colors, so green and purple would work. When you're ready to add highlights to the top of the apple, you'll want to use yellow, pink, and orange to bump up the hue. Here's a few more portraits from our collection that have good food still lifes included. Now you know how to make an apple painting, go ahead and get different mediums out like crayons, markers, colored pencils, pastels, and keep trying that same apple over and over again in all different kinds of mediums. You'll learn something new each time. Thanks again for joining me. We would love to see your apple paintings if you wouldn't mind posting them on social media with the hashtag MyMPG, then we can all check it out. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.